All right, what's up my fellow tech geeks and welcome back to the channel. Chris here and hey, let's just get right into it. We're talking MetaConnect 2025, which is set to drop in just two weeks, September 17th and 18th. And based on everything we know and have heard up to this point, this is shaping up to be the defining moment for smart glasses. Mark Zuckerberg and Meta CTO Andrew Bosworth have made it clear 2025 is a critical year for wearables and AI. In fact, Bosworth teased big wearable announcements and a heavy focus on, you guessed it, AI and wearables. Now, Zuckerberg even suggested that those not wearing AI smart glasses in the future could be at a pretty significant cognitive disadvantage. <laughs> Talk about high stakes, right? It's like next year, I might even be considered to have average intelligence. <laughs> Crazy meta. The undisputed star of this year's show is widely rumored to be a new pair of smart glasses codenamed Hypernova, also known as Celeste. Unlike Meta's current Ray-Ban models, these are tipped to be their first consumer smart glasses featuring an actual display. Leaks suggest a single monocular heads-up display in the right lens, which would offer a roughly 20-degree field of view. This is designed for discrete notifications like text messages, weather, navigation prompts, and AI-powered responses displayed as text instead of audio. Now, this isn't full-on AR like Meta's experimental Project Orion, which still feels quite a ways off. Instead, Meta's taking a half-step approach. Bosworth himself noted that monocular displays are more affordable, lighter, and simpler to build. And affordability is key because these Hypernova glasses are expected to retail around $800, even though early estimates were over $1,000. they will be built in partnership with the company behind Ray-Ban and Oakley, meaning they should resemble regular, stylish frames here's where the interaction gets truly next level. These Hypernova glasses are expected to come paired with a wrist-worn electromyography or EMG controller for input. This isn't just another smartwatch type device. The device reads your neural signals directly from your wrist muscles. Imagine subtly pinching your thumb and forefinger to grab something or swiping your fingers across each other to, to move the display around. It's focused on giving you control over virtual objects and notifications that are displayed on your smart glasses. Now, this is also where we need to talk about some real world concerns, because if this is going to be a daily wearable, it needs to look good and it needs to be practical. The big question is, can the wristband be worn on a different wrist than your watch? And is it actually going to look good? The sources don't explicitly say it must be worn on a specific wrist, which suggests it's probably flexible. But think about it. If Meta wants mass adoption, this can't look like a medical device or a, a clunky gadget on your wrist. Nobody wants to feel like a cyborg walking around with, you know, wires and bulky tech all over them. We remember the original Google Glass, right? Its unique look, it was a major hurdle for the public. Acceptance was really, really low. And if this wristband is going to be as ubiquitous as a smartwatch, it needs to be sleek, comfortable, and integrate seamlessly into everyday fashion. Meta's partnership with Ray-Ban and Oakley shows they understand design is crucial. The real trick will be if this wristband is minimal enough to be worn alongside a traditional watch without looking bulky or visually distracting. It needs to feel like a natural extension of you, not just another gadget strapped to your arm, or honestly, people just simply won't wear it. So beyond Hypernova, we're also expecting a refresh of Meta's popular displayless Ray-Ban smart glasses. These have been a huge success, selling over 2 million units total 
and driving 73% of the global smart glass market in the first half of this year, 2025. A refresh with improved cameras and battery life, uh, basically similar to what they did with the Oakley smart glasses, it just makes sense. These continue to be a more accessible entry point into Meta's wearable ecosystem. And then there's Project Orion, Meta's ambitious vision for truly holographic AR glasses. While a prototype was showcased at Connect 2024, it featured voice and hand tracking and eye tracking and that neural wrist interface with an impressive 70 degree field of view. It's still experimental though, and still quite a ways off from consumer release. Miniaturization challenges mean a consumer version currently would cost over $10,000. So I think it's safe to say it's gonna be a while before we see that in anybody's hands. Now, with all this incredible technology, we have to talk about the elephant in the room, privacy. As AR glasses become increasingly sensor laden, they pose significant privacy concerns. Users are worried about devices collecting sensitive data like eye tracking, voice prints, and facial images. Imagine an always-on device recording private conversations or collecting data about your physical surroundings and activities, potentially leading to targeted advertising. Concerns range from feeling self-conscious about facial expression data to fears of discrimination based on data interpretation or even political views being exposed. The success of these wearables will heavily depend on Meta's ability to prioritize user control and transparency around data collection and usage. Offering granular controls like opt-in, opt-out options, and ideally local on-device storage. We've seen Google step up with physical camera shutters, LED indicators, privacy zones, and on-device processing for their Android XR glasses. And Meta has to follow suit or they'll face the same backlash as past smart glasses that alienated users due to privacy fears. Now, speaking of competition, Google isn't sitting still. Their AI-powered Android XR smart glasses were showcased at I.O. 2025. They're partnering with fashion-forward eyewear brands like Warby Parker and General Monster to ensure a stylish, normal glasses look. Powered by their Gemini AI, these glasses emphasize AI-first functionality, offering real-time translation in over 100 languages, memory and reminders, contextual help, and immersive content like YouTube and Google Maps integration. Google's aiming for a broad launch in 2026, putting pressure on Meta to deliver. It's like the Wild West for smart glasses right now. So. Meta is hell-bent on making 2025 the year of the smart glasses, pushing innovation with displays and neural interfaces. It's, it's a bold vision with the potential to truly transform how we interact with technology. But the key, as always, will be balanced, cutting-edge functionality with sleek design and, crucially, robust user privacy. So tell me, what do you think about Meta's upcoming smart glasses and that EMG wristband? You guys excited? Or have the privacy concerns kind of made you think about holding back? And let's be real. <laughs> How many times are they going to say AI at Meta Connect? I think we should make it into a drinking game. Let me know in the comments below. If you found this deep dive helpful, please hit that like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights and future updates. We'll keep our eyes peeled for all the big announcements coming from MetaConnect. Peace and love.